Hey, good morning. Retired granny here in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'm at my daughter Liz's house where I have been all week um, with allergies and my asthma acting up, among other things. Um, just the change of weather, I guess, being from Ohio. Um, when I left, it was cold, it was damp, it was dark, it was uh, dreary, and I just wanted to get in some sun a little bit. And um, thank God we've had some really, really nice sunny days since I've been here. I was in Alabama the other day, and it was in the 60s there, so that made me really, really happy. Finally, getting some sun, some vitamin D. But today is the day that we are going to make tamales. Now, I have fought the fight. I don't want to make them. I don't like to make them. I've made them several times. We made them when I was a little girl. We made them with my mom. As I got older, me and Jeff and the boys uh, made them, I think, once or twice. Uh, the other girls, we, we, we have made them. And um, they're hard work. I mean, they, there's a lot involved in making the tamales, and they are hard work. I would just assume find a good tamale in a restaurant or at a Mexican bakery and just buy a dozen of them and just be done with it. But apparently, a good tamale, according to my daughter Angel, is not to be found in um, her area here in Tennessee. So we are going to attempt to make the tamales like they um, tasted when we made them. But um, I don't see that happening. We were out yesterday looking for masa. They do not sell the kind of masa like we are accustomed to. So we had to buy um, it in a five pound package and we have to mix it ourselves, which is something that I have never done before. I've never had to mix it with the lard and the salt and the baking powder. Um, just have never done that. So, um, we're having to do all that. And we had to go out and buy a tamaleta, which is the big pot that you cook them in. And I've got corn husks here that are soaking in hot water to um, soften up because they're really hard. They smell like vinegar. So I had to get that out of there and soften them up. I got some beans over here that I'm going to um, clean because we're going to have some... Uh, beef tamales and some uh chicken and uh beef beef chicken and bean tamales so i'm gonna cook these beans um for about four hours i got my ready my water ready with some um pork salt i'm gonna cook them for about four hours and we'll be making tamales this afternoon sometime and um, we're gonna have the little girls over here so that should be interesting and we're going to have Odessa over here, and she's going to be getting into stuff, I'm sure. Um, but we're going to do the best we can, and um, hopefully they will come out good and uh, tasty and um, just like Angel remembers because um, she bought the Damaletta, and if they come out good today, she'll be making them. She'll be making them for her family once I leave and go back home. So, um, we're going to see how that goes. And uh, I'll keep you updated. In the meantime, I am uh, going to go and have my second cup of coffee. And um, try to relax just a little bit before um, all of the... Kids come over and uh, we get on this, uh, we get this day going. So we'll see what happens. I will be back later to um, show you how we did with the tamales. All right. Have a good day. Retired Granny here. Bye bye.